Hello everyone, good to see you again. It's time for another lesson. American English File, Second Edition, Book 1. This is Chapter 8A. Okay, a murder story. Like Sherlock Holmes, huh? Okay, reading. Read the back cover. This is the back cover of, of the book. Back cover of a murder story, then cover it. And look at the photographs. Can you remember who the people are? For example, who's Amanda? She's Jeremy's wife. Okay, we have Gordon, Jeremy, Barbara, Amanda, and Claudia. Good. Let's read it together. Murder in a country house. June 22nd, 1958 was Jeremy Travers's 60th birthday. He had dinner at his country house with his wife Amanda, his daughter Barbara, his business partner Gordon, and his assistant Claudia. The next morning, when Amanda Travers went to her husband's bedroom, she found him in bed. Dead. 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 Okay? So, who's Gordon? Who's Jeremy? Who's Barbara? Who's Amanda? Who's Claudia? Talk to your partner. Very good. Let's move to the next page. Okay. Now, we have a story here. First, read this story, mark the sentences true or false. Do it. Okay. Very nice. Very good. Now, let's listen to the story. 4.2 Jeremy Jeremy! Jeremy! Oh no! Detective Granger arrived at about nine o'clock. He was a tall man with a big black mustache. Amanda, Barbara, Claudia, and Gordon were in the living room. The detective came in. Mr. Travers died between midnight last night and seven o'clock this morning. He said, somebody in this room killed him. He looked at them one by one but nobody spoke. Mrs. Travers, I want to talk to you first. Come into the library with me, please. Amanda Travers followed the detective into the library and they sat down. What did your husband do after dinner last night? When we finished dinner, Jeremy said he was tired and he went to bed. Did you go to bed then? No, I didn't. I went for a walk in the yard. What time did you go to bed? About quarter to twelve. Was your husband asleep? I don't know, detective. We... we slept in separate rooms, but I saw that his door was closed. Did you hear anything when you were in your room? Yes, I heard Jeremy's bedroom door. It opened. I thought it was Jeremy. Then it closed again. I read in bed for half an hour, and then I went to sleep. What time did you get up this morning? I got up at about 7.15. I had breakfast, and at 8 o'clock, I took my husband a cup of tea. I found him in bed. He was dead. Tell me, Mrs. Travers, did you love your husband? Jeremy is, was, a difficult man. But did you love him, Mrs. Travers? No, detective. I hated him. Okay. Nice story. Now let's check the answers together. Good. Check it with your partner. Let's do it. Number one. Somebody killed Jeremy between 12 a.m. and... Two. Is it true or false? False. He died between midnight and seven in the morning. Okay. 
Number two, the detective questioned Amanda in the living room. True or false? False, in the library. Number three, Jeremy went to bed before Amanda. Is it true or false? True. Number four, Amanda and Jeremy slept in the same room. False, they slept in separate rooms. Number five, somebody opened and closed Amanda's door. False, somebody opened and closed Jeremy's door. Number six, Amanda got up at seven. False, she got up at 7.15. And number seven, Amanda didn't love Jeremy. True, that's true. She says, no, detective, I hated him. Who? Okay, well done. Now, look at the highlighted irregular verbs. Irregular. For example, you can't add ed. Regular, regular, play, played. Dance, danced. But irregular. Okay, now look at them. What are the base forms? Write the base forms. For example, was, number one, was becomes be. The base form. Write the base form. Do it. Okay. Let's check the base forms. For example, was, were, be. Came, the base form, come. Said, the base form, say. Spoke. Speak. Sat. Sit. Went. Go. Slept. Sleep. Saw. See. Heard. Hear, thought, think, read, read. Now pay attention. Read, read. The pronunciation is different. Read, read. But writing is the same. Got up, get up. Had, have. Took, take. Found, find. Well done. These are the base forms. You did very good. Excellent job. Now, in the next part, pronunciation, everybody listen to the pronunciation of these verbs in the simple past. Okay, listen. 4.3 Sat Could Found Heard Read Said Saw Took War Okay, well done. Now, everybody, now match the verbs in A. These are the verbs in A. Match the verbs in, in A with a word below that rhymes. That rhymes. It's like the same pronunciation written. That rhymes. All right, do it. Good. Now, listen and check. All right? 4.4 Book Took mm. Round Found, Found. Bird. Bird Heard, Heard. Good Could Four War Draw, saw, cat, sat, bed, read, said. Good. These are your answers. Book, took, round, found, bird, heard, good, could, for, war, draw, saw, cat, sat, bed, read said good now again this is story now find and underline underline nine simple past regular verbs ends in ed okay how do you pronounce them listen and check okay let's do it ready go 4.5 Arrived. Died. Killed. Looked. Followed. 
finished. Opened. Closed. Hated. Okay. These are some of the regular verbs. Arrived, died, killed. Regular. You add ed, it becomes the past. Killed, followed, opened, closed, looked, finished, hated. All right? Good. Now, again, we have a listening practice. Listen to detective question Barbara. Write the information in the chart. Okay. Now listen again and check. Then do for Gordon and Claudia. For example, he questioned Amanda. For example, she went for a walk. What time did they go to bed? 11.45. Did they hear anything? Jeremy's door opened and closed. Possible motive. She hated him. Motivation for killing. Motive. All right. Okay. Let's listen to detective talking to Barbara or questioning Barbara. Okay. 4.6 Then the detective questioned Barbara Travers. Mm. What did you do after dinner yesterday evening? After dinner, I played cards with Gordon, and then I went to bed. What time was that? It was about 11.30. I remember I looked at my watch. Did you hear anything in your father's room? No, I didn't hear anything. Miss Travers, did you have any problems with your father? No, I didn't have any problems with him at all. My father was a wonderful man and a wonderful father. <laughs> I'm sorry, detective. Don't worry, Miss Travers. No more questions. Okay, so what did they do after dinner? Barbara, she played cards with Gordon. What time did they go to bed? 11.30, did they hear anything? No. Possible motive? No motive. She loved him. Good. Now it's time for Gordon. Everybody listen again. Answer the questions. Listen and answer the questions. 4.7 Next, the detective questioned Gordon Smith. Gordon Smith. What did you do after dinner, Gordon? I played cards with Barbara. Then she went to bed. Did you go to bed then? No. I stayed in the living room and I had a cup of tea. Then I went to bed. What time was that? I don't remember exactly. I didn't look at the time. Did you hear anything during the night? No, I didn't. I was very tired. I slept very well. You and Mr. Travers were business partners, weren't you? Yes, that's right. And it's a very good business, I understand. Yes, Detective, it is. And now, it is your business. Listen, Detective, I did not kill Jeremy. He was my partner, and he was my friend. Hmm. So, what did Gordon do after dinner? Of course, he played cards with Barbara and he had a cup of tea. What time did he go to bed? He doesn't remember. Oops. Did they hear anything? Did he hear anything? No. And possible motive? Now he has the business. They were business partners, remember? Good. Last one, Claudia. Let's listen to detective talking to Claudia. 4.8 Finally, the detective questioned Claudia Simeon. What did you do yesterday evening after dinner? I went to my room and I took a bath and I went to bed. What time was that? About 11 o'clock. Did you hear anything? Yes, I heard somebody go into Jeremy's room. It was about 12 o'clock. Who was it? It was Amanda, his wife. Are you sure? Did you see her? Well, no, I didn't see her, but I'm sure it was Amanda. You were Mr. Travers' assistant, Claudia. Yes, I was. Were you just his assistant? What do you mean? 
Were you in love with Mr. Travers? No, I wasn't. The truth, please, Claudia. Fine, detective. Yes, I was in love with him. And he said he was in love with me. He said he wanted to leave his wife, Amanda, and marry me. I was stupid. I believed him. He used me, detective. I was very angry with him. Did you kill him? No, detective. I loved Jeremy. I loved Jeremy. All right. So what did Claudio do after dinner? She went to her room and took a bath. And what time did she go to bed? 11. Did she hear anything? She heard somebody going to Jeremy's room. She thinks it was Amanda. And possible motive? She loved him, but he used her. He said he wanted to marry her, but he didn't. Oops. <laughs> you got finesse. All right. Okay. Now you have the answers. Now, who? Who do you think was the murderer? Who killed Jeremy? Amanda, Barbara, Gordon, or Claudia? Who killed him and why? Speak to your partner. Good? Okay, now. Listen to the rest of the story. Listen to what happened. Who was the murderer? Why did he or she kill Mr. Travers? Were you right? Okay, let's listen to the rest of the story. 4.9 I love this music. <laughs> All right. Before dinner, Gordon met with Jeremy in the library. Happy birthday, Jeremy. Ah, uh, thanks, Gordon. Listen, Jeremy, I want to talk to you about Barbara. Barbara? What's the problem? It's not exactly a problem. I am in love with her, and I want to marry her. Marry Barbara? Marry my daughter? Are you crazy? <laughs> Never. You don't love Barbara. You only want her money. That's not true, Jeremy. I love her. Listen to me. If you marry Barbara, when I die, all my money goes to Claudia. To Claudia? To your assistant? Yes. Is that your last word, Jeremy? Yes, it is. Dinner, everybody! At midnight, Gordon was in the living room. He finished his tea and went upstairs. Who is it? Gordon? Ah! Okay, so who killed Mr. Travers? Of course, it was Gordon. But why? Why? Okay, Gordon killed Jeremy because he wanted to marry Barbara to get all her money and Jeremy said that he couldn't. He said, if you marry Barbara, all my money goes to Claudia, his secretary. Oops. <laughs> well done. You did very good. Now, everybody, again, read this story. Look at these verbs. Are they regular or irregular in the simple past? For example, come, kill, close, speak, sleep, sit, hate, walk. Write the simple past form in the positive and negative for each verb. For example, come, came, didn't come. All right, do it. Good, good. Now listen and check. 4.10 Come, came, didn't come. Kill, killed, didn't kill. Close, closed, didn't close. Speak, spoke, didn't speak. Sleep, slept, 
didn't sleep. Sit, sat, didn't sit. Hate, hated, didn't hate. Walk, walked, didn't walk. Okay, well done. Now, these are the verbs. Come, came, didn't come. Kill, kill, didn't kill. Close, closed, didn't close. Speak, spoke, didn't speak. Sleep, slept, didn't sleep. Sit, sat, didn't sit. Hate, hated, didn't hate. Walk, walked, didn't walk. Good. Very well, everyone. Now, everybody, listen and practice simple past, regular and irregular verbs. Let's do it. 4.11 I was born in Japan. They were late for class yesterday. She wasn't at home last night. You weren't very nice to her. Were you sick yesterday? When was he born? I really liked the present. She wanted to be a doctor. She didn't enjoy the concert. They didn't arrive until very late. Did you watch the game last night? When did you finish the book? I went to Seoul last summer. She slept on the sofa. He didn't come home last night. They didn't hear the music. Did you speak to your sister yesterday? Where did you have lunch? Okay, well done. So, B, regular verbs, irregular verbs. Now, the point is, the past of B and is R is was and were. We add not to make negatives and invert the subject and verb to make questions. For example, look, I was born in Japan, positive. They were late for class yesterday. For the negative, was not. She wasn't at home last night. Were not. She, you weren't very nice to her. And for question, you flip. You switch. How? For example, you were sick yesterday. Question, were you sick yesterday? All right. Very good. Now, as for regular verbs, you add ed or d. Like, liked, want, wanted. Right? For positive. For negative. All right. You usually use didn't, auxiliary verb, and the base form. And for question, you use did and the base form. So, irregular verbs change their forms in simple past. For example, irregular, go becomes went. See becomes saw. Asleep, slept. All right? Another point, regular and irregular verbs, except can, use didn't plus the base form to make negatives. Didn't come didn't enjoy, all right? And did plus subject plus base form to make questions. Did you want to come? Where did you go? All right? Now, can and could. The past of can is could. We add not to make negatives. I couldn't find my glasses. And reverse the subject and verb to make questions. For example, could you use your cell phone on the mountain? You just switch, flip it. Very nice. Now let's practice this. Mm -hmm. All right, we have two exercises. First, complete the dialogue using the simple past. The verb can be regular and irregular. And in B, complete the text with the simple past of these verbs in the parentheses. Okay? Stop the video and do it. Good. Check your answers with your partner. Okay, let's do it together. Okay. Where were you last night at 8? I was at home, detective, with my wife. We were at home all evening. Okay. What did you do? We watched TV and we had a light dinner. 
We weren't hungry. After that, we went to bed. What time did you go to bed? At about 10 o'clock. Did you hear a noise during the night? No, I didn't hear anything. Well done. And part B. Last night I was asleep in my room when a strange noise woke me up. I didn't want to leave my room because I felt very scared. Then I heard the noise again. So I decided to go and investigate. When I turned on the light in the kitchen, a bird flew out of the window. I closed the window so that the bird couldn't come in again. And then I went back to bed. Well done, everybody. Excellent. Great work. Okay, now everybody, again, these are some of the past tense verbs. You don't need to memorize. Just listen, okay, and see. 5.58 Be Was Were Been Become Became Become Begin Began Begun Break Broke Broken Bring Brought Brought Build Built Built Buy Bought Bought Can Could Catch Caught Caught Come Came Come Cost 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 Do Did Done Drink Drank Drunk Drive Drove Driven Eat Ate Eaten Fall Fell Fallen Feel Felt Felt Find Found Found Fly Flew Flown Forget Forgot Forgotten Get Got Got Give Gave Given Go Went Gone Have Had Had Hear Heard Heard No New Known Leave Left Left Lose Lost Lost Make Made Made Meet Met Met Pay Paid Paid Put 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 Read 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 Run Ran Run Say Said Said See Saw Seen Send Sent Sent Sing Sang Sung Sit Sat Sat 
sleep, slept, slept, speak, spoke, spoken, spend, spent, spent, stand, stood, stood, swim. Swam, swum. Teach, taught, taught. Take, took, taken. Tell, told, told. Think, thought, thought. Understand. Understood. Understood. Wake. Woke. Woken. Wear. War. Worn. Win. One. One. Write. Wrote. Written. Okay, nice. You don't need to memorize, just know. Okay? Time to talk. Now, look at these posters. Have you seen these movies? You can search their name on Google as well. Mm hmm. Seven, one of my favorite. And the Silence of the Lambs, Dr. Hannibal Lecter. Now, I have some questions for you. Have you seen these movies? What are they about? What happened in these movies? Did you like the movies? What's your favorite crime movie? What happened in your favorite movie, and especially crime movie? Speak with your partner. It's on you. And that's it for today, everybody. Thanks for watching. If you have a question, you know, comment down below, and I will get back to you very soon. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more English. See you soon.